this week's video, although short, it will cover some, uh, some good basic info on changing the air filter on a newer bike. And then while I still have this thing in the shop to represent the older models, I'm going to show you some of the historical differences that you might expect if you have a slightly older model. I've also found a video that's uh, well over 10 years old. It's our mechanic Sergei um, changing an air filter on an older bike. We're talking like 2004, 5, 6 time frame. So um, I'll link that video below. And if you have a few extra moments, you might want to go watch that. It's uh, actually quite entertaining to look at the differences in that video versus what I'm going to show you today and you can see all the changes over the years just in relation to something as simple as the air box. So um, I won't waste any more time and we'll get to this. So this 2013 is a good representation of the early and late model 750 carbureted bikes. The early air filters uh, on the first 750s were actually a top intake design and the chief complaint with these was along with the air if it was raining moisture would get in and choke out the air filter um, right around 2007 I believe the factory started doing a bottom intake air filter which was a vast improvement over the old style but uh, air filter maintenance was still a time-consuming process if you go back and watch the video that I've linked below of Sergey performing air filter maintenance on an older bike, you'll see just how involved it is. Basically, you had to remove the top starter bolt. You removed the uh, clutch cable bracket nut on the other side. You took off your left and right branch pipes. You removed the breather tube, and then you could remove the whole air assembly to access the air filter inside. The reason for removing the whole air filter was because even with the air box lid removed, there's just not a lot of clearance to remove the old air filter and install a new one with these, with these lower gas tank mounts. And you do have a retaining plate that holds this in that you also have to contend with. So you may ask, is the new air filter assembly retrofitable to the older bikes? No, it's not. Uh, primarily, the gas tank mount right here. The new fuel injection air box design, which was introduced in 2014 and is currently used today, uses a top snorkel mount that goes right where these mounts are. So in 2014, the rear gas tank mounts were moved to the top of the backbone to accommodate that air box. So if you do have one of these older style bikes, uh, we still have a K&N version that's our own version. It's about nine dollars cheaper than K&N's and it is a washable reusable high mileage air filter. Uh, about forty one dollars from your dealer. We also uh, made an improvement to the branch pipes that used to be a three-piece design with a metal intermediate piece and two rubber compliance fittings with four clamps on each side. Uh, now there's a single piece design specific to the left and the right uh, that only require two clamps. And here we have a 2020. You can see the uh, new style air box with the snorkel, which was introduced in 2014 with the introduction of the first generation fuel injection. Uh, hopefully the lighting is good enough that you can see what's going up in there with the snorkel. If I remove the side panel here, you'd see the uh, Four bolts that hold the lid on are easily accessible from here and I'll, I'll show you on the other side too when we take this off. The only difference from the first generation EFI to this version uh, with the, the, that came out in 2019 is that now there's a cable guide uh, that's attached to the box for the angle of the throttle cable as it was changed for this new key and throttle body. So to start You'll want a four millimeter hex key to remove the four six millimeter screws that hold the air box lid on. I, use, I like to use a little hex key or Allen wrench instead of a socket because I don't want to accidentally like slip and scratch the paint on the gas tank. Once 
Once those are removed, just lower the cable guide that is only on the left hand side. There isn't one on the right. It's only on the left. And then you remove the screws on the other side. Now with the screws removed from the other side, you can move the throttle cable forward a little bit with your hand and lift up and pull the lid away. This is, exposes the whole air filter ele element, which is also easily removed. And the cable's got enough slack to make that move, so I wouldn't worry about that. And there you are, air filter out. Grab your replacement filter. And 2014 to current air filter, these are 1040-15075, and the MSRP runs $13.99 for these. Simply slide it in. Now you take your air box lid and see where the crossover tube is right here hanging down. What I do is I push this forward almost to that tube and then angle it down so the back is up so I can clear the foam. And if your snorkel is almost to that tube, you can slide it right over to the side. That's simple. Install your four six millimeter screws, making sure to put your throttle cable guide bracket back. Tuck the throttle cable up under the back of the tank there, the way it was originally routed. Get those started. I would start all of them at the same time and then go back and tighten them up. Now you want them to be snug, but not so tight that they rip out the brass inserts in the air box. So just get them snug to where it's compressing the foam, and then the air filter itself will act like a lock washer to put pressure on it, and it will hold those in place without backing out. You're going to install your side panel, and you're done. So in closing this week, I wanted to uh, acknowledge all the great suggestions we've gotten for future videos that you'd like to see. Uh, they haven't gone unnoticed. I've been keeping track of everything and cataloging everything, and we will get to them just as soon as time permits. Uh, I also want to say thank you for all the positive comments on uh, YouTube and Facebook. My boss uh, bosses, Ilya and Medina, they've noticed it too. And uh, all of us here at Euro, we really appreciate the feedback and it's encouraging for us to keep doing these things. So until next time, uh, take care. I'll talk to you soon.